What's up guys, before we get into today's video, I wanted to remind you guys that the brand new Legends drop is live right now. It's gonna be the first link down in the description box below. For this drop, we have the brand new Geisha collection, which came out so sick. The artwork is insane. We have a ton of awesome items on the site live right now. We're dropping this hoodie I'm currently wearing right now. Let's check out the artwork on the back. It's absolutely sick. We also have our brand new t-shirt, tons of awesome accessories, including this Japanese style scroll right here. And also bringing it over here, Grant, check this out. A cool little mini desk yep. Nabori flag. Oh, I love that. How sick is this? It's cool. Super cool. A cool little guy. Perfect for your desk or your whatever, wherever you want to put it. Your tool chest, maybe? Cool little little piece. That's Everything. cool. Yeah, I love it's that. nice. Yeah. Everything is live right now. First thing down in the description box below. If you guys want to help support the channel, check it out. Let's get into today's video. No, I didn't even notice it, but definitely noticed that. It's RWB. I love Japan <laughs> so much. We were just sitting here like talking about, I, I, I don't even know what we were talking about. And then Dustin goes, Grant, look at that. <laughs> I'm like kind of speechless to be honest. Good morning. <laughs> This is the curb that he had to pull up. It doesn't look that big on camera, but it was that close to hitting. It's impressive. Here. Dustin's new Japan Daily. <laughs> I would not mind this. That is cool. Quick little parking lot find. Actual FT2 Type R. This thing is sick. Like the taillights. Huh. Cool little find. Today we are starting here at Spoon. If you guys watched one of the previous Japan vlogs, I told you guys we were going to be coming back today to check out the FL5, give you guys a full walk around of the Spoon FL5, but Grant's with me all day today, and this is his first time at Spoon. We're getting to check out the new and improved engine room. So Jamoto-san, you guys uh, renovated recently, right? So mm -hmm. got a nice uh, bigger engine room, yeah. uh, kind of new outside, which I'll show you guys as well, but it's so much bigger in here now. Yeah. More space. Uh, this, uh, expand the room. Yeah, yeah. So we, uh, we are uh, building the transmission now. Oh, so this, so this yeah. is new. Yeah. Then. So uh, b before style is uh, this room is only engine, engine but uh, 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 we want to uh, have a space mm. for the transmission. That's building. awesome. Yeah. So combine the engine and the transmission and then make a expand the room. And yeah. Here. That's awesome. So what is he building currently? Uh, this is uh, for uh, PCX is a uh, F twenty. Oh, so uh, uh, S2000. Yeah. 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 And uh, this is an uh, overhaul engine. Mm. So, so just kind of like a, pretty much like a refresh kind of. Yeah. So if you guys want to see a more in-depth look at what they do here with the engine building room in their cars, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave a link down to my previous video when we were here because we did a really in-depth video. Uh, and it's really cool to see that they're expanding and every nut and bolt he has memorized all organized into yeah. this tool chest yeah. here. It's so crazy. It never gets old every time coming here. <laughs> the real reason we're here, the Spoon FL5. So funny enough, right now, I think as you guys are watching this, the FL5s are officially on sale in the US, which is really, really cool. But here in Japan, this is one of very, very few that are actually available. Spoon was actually able to get this through kind of, I guess you would, I guess you would call it like a, a dealer license, I guess. It's not the technical term, but that's as close as I can, what I can think to call it. Uh, but because they are a dealer and a developer that is endorsed by Honda, they were actually able to get one of the first ones ever. What's really cool, fun little fact here, if you guys check this out, this is Type R number 400. What a cool number to have. You guys know if you watched the previous Japan videos, this is one of my first times ever seeing the F-05 and it is just everything that I wanted the next generation Type R to be. 
I think one of my favorite parts about the FL5 is how wide they actually made the body of this car. They usually have the FL1 in here, which is kind of like the base model of the Civic, so you can kind of compare the body. But this car is so much wider, which you can kind of tell right here, right next to the light, how much wider this is. And even when you come to the back, it looks freaking sick, guys. Now, we have some very exciting plans with the FL5 coming up soon, but I can't talk about it just yet. You guys will, will see it in the coming weeks. Uh, we see it a lot, actually. Well, I'll, I'll explain when the time comes, but... This gets me so damn pumped for what we have coming with the Type R. I mean, seeing this car in person is... It's completely different than looking at it in all the ads or online what you see. The car is really, really good in person. What should the fate of the FK8 be when we get the FL5? Let me know. Let's take a look at the interior. jamoto san I love this car so much. <laughs> it's so good. You should, you should sit down and try. try. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? I keep saying like my favorite part, my favorite part, but seriously, red carpet now and red floor mats with Type R badging like this. It just brings me back to like the, the EK9, like the old school Type R days. It's so cool. So they already put the spoon bucket in here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh. Guys, it is so good. Oh my God. Let's check it out. Oh. I love the cluster now, the dash, the center console. I love like this honeycomb grill that they put in for the for the AC vents as well. Even down to the freaking gearbox. Let's feel it actually. Oh, it's very very hard to beat a Honda gearbox, and this is definitely a step above what the FK8 has. It almost kind of reminds me of the NSX gearbox, how small it is and how tight everything is. Very short and a lot notchier than what I'm feeling with my FK8, but you have your drive mode switcher, badging over here. The seats are a little bit more subtle as well. You have Type R kind of stitched into there. Wow. So good. I think it's a Honda guy at heart too. I am. I was this close to buying it, an EK hatch with a K series in it in oh, yeah? 2009. <laughs> yeah, I love them. I think they're cool. This I thing love is that they still stick with like the red carpet. I know. So it's... the previous generation Type R didn't have red carpet. Really? So this brings me back to like the old school Type R, like EK like 90s. That car. Ex yeah, exactly. Literally exactly. that car. Yeah. I'm so happy that they brought this back. It's just lots of like little heritage things. Even I was telling them the gearbox reminds me of an NSX with how small and tight it is, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's oh, really wow, nice. That's awesome. It's really Oh, with the spoon exhaust. Jamoto san, I need this. Wow. So look at the cluster here. So we have the drive modes right here. We'll switch it and uh, oh. that's, it's so much better than the FK8. Yeah. It's so much better. Uh, like that, like that. Uh, uh, like a TV game. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, exactly. It's kind of like, uh, like need for speed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's so good. Do you guys want to hear the exhaust? You should hear the exhaust. Man, you look happy. I love this car, dude. Thank you, Jwantel son. <laughs> <laughs> On. I have a question. Uh, what do you think about the FL5 versus the FK8 as far as tuning wise and what you've kind of noticed? Because Type 1 has already started to modify yep. their Type R's. Mm -hmm. So you guys have done exhaust, suspension, yeah. um, not too much engine components just mm -hmm. yet. But so far, how has your experience been versus the FK8? So FK8, uh, right now, yeah. uh, we have uh, uh, only a few items oh, for right. the FL5. So FK8 is uh, uh, faster than FL5. Right. Now, but uh, this car has a uh, capacity over tire size. Right, uh, right. So, so more tires. Yeah. So uh, for future, uh, this car uh, will are uh, faster than uh, FK8. Yeah. And this car has uh, uh, more space before yeah. the turbocharger. So uh, FK8 has a cooling program, but uh, this car. Uh, 
up uh, have a solution of our uh, cooling problem. Should be good. Yeah, uh, a little bit better than FKA, but yeah. uh, still have a problem. You think so? Yeah, I think so. So oh. I need to make a uh, more big radiator and a more cooling device wow. for this car. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm very curious to see if it does have the cooling. It's probably not as bad. Not bad now, but, but uh, it should be better. Could be better. Uh, yes. <laughs> So great, first time at Spoon, how's the experience? It's, it's a so cool good. shop, right? Seeing cart like... Like the actual Spoon race cars. Um, they have the demo FK8 over here. They finally got this wall all fixed and put the new bumpers on here. So they have the FK8 Spoon bumper. That's so cool. You would see my little bye bye, 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 bye. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Another amazing visit here at Spoon Type 1. But today, we kind of have free. So it's just going to be Grant and I for the rest of the day. Because he left us. He ditched us. He dude. ditched us. He went home He went home early. So something that we don't really do usually is do touristy stuff. I think that's what we're going to do today. We're going to leave Type 1 and we're actually heading to Shibuya now just to go find some random cool stuff. Yeah, even me. I. This is my fifth trip to Japan. And I'll kind of do touristy stuff sometimes, but I think it'll be fun for me and my boy Dustin to go do some touristy things. Let's do it. That's, we're going there. Let's go park there. Park right next to him? Yeah. Fuck Dude, it. random Japan finds. What a sick freaking find. So random parking garage in the middle of Shibuya, we find a Boss S14. This thing is so rad. Look at the interior. Reason 798 why I just absolutely love Japan. What a sick find. Oh, we got Bridgestones in here too? Wow. Well, Grant, I would say that this is a perfect way to start our Shibuya adventures. It's meant to be. It was meant to be. This thing is honestly super rad. You can kind of tell it's a drift car. It's got some cheap tires on the back, big old triple eights up front. Crazy. It's cool. So cool. It's really cool. It's one of those cars where if you saw it online, you'd be like, eh, it's whatever. But you see it in person, you're like, it's the coolest thing in the world. Yeah. Okay, we just made it to Shibuya. We are actually gonna be here for the rest of today because we have a big lunch with the top ranked team tonight. And then we're all gonna be heading to Daikoku for a big, big meet. Tonight is Friday and usually the biggest meets happen on Fridays. So it should be a really fun day. Uh, but yeah, Grant and I are just gonna explore, find food, find shops and have fun. Cool. Find a little local tonkatsu shop in Shibuya. It's always nice coming into like local shops like this. It's my favorite, and I'm glad they're. Some of my friends don't like winging it like this, but this is my favorite part about traveling. So yeah. really happy to see that you like doing this as well. Can never go wrong with tonkatsu. As you guys know, it's literally my favorite meal when I come to Japan. Uh, curry or just a base in itself. But tonight we have a really good meal, which we haven't been back in three years. I'm so excited. You've never been. No, I've never been. But I've taken you guys before. You'll see it tonight. But we have a very fun, just sporadic day left. I think, I think after this, we're gonna go to Pokemon Center. 
I want to go see the show with the Pokemon Center. I'm definitely going to see the last year. Comics, toys, fan collections, golf carts, CDs, and DVDs. This looks pretty freaking cool. Okay, time to explore. This is apparently a huge anime store full of comics, toys, a bunch of cool stuff. This is Where are we? <laughs> We're like six floors down. This is so cool. Hey, well good news. Uh, successful mission here on our first little shop. What are the chances look, of that? Look how sick all this is, guys. I could literally spend days and thousands and thousands of dollars in here. Dragging them out. Yeah, he's having me drag me out. We found so much good stuff, but okay. On to the next. This is so, this is so, look at Okay, this is not <laughs> such a tourist. You are a tourist. Quick power break. Okay. Grant says that these things are good. We're gonna give them a try. Strong I don't know zero. what your taste buds are Strong like. Strong zero. I don't know what my taste buds are like either. Nine percent alcohol. Is it amateur hour or what? In, yes. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Come by. Come by. Here we go. It's not horrible. What's that face for? It's not horrible. <laughs> it's good enough. You'll be walking sideways after one of these, Dustin. <laughs> I, not even, that's not a joke. Yes. <laughs> well, that, I, I feel like everything just happened so fast. Yep. It's been a, a long time. But Grant and I are still exploring Kabuya right now. But if you're curious, tonight our dinner is all the way on the fourth floor right there that overlooks Shibuya Crossing. So while we wait for everybody else, we're just hanging out, exploring, and having fun. Grant, fun fact here. Do you want to know how yeah. many people cross Shibuya Crossing at its busiest times? No, but we better go left because it's ending 1, soon. 1,000 to 3,000 people are crossing Wait, this, this crosswalk right now. Wow. That's insane. So, we're going this way, Dot. Yep, yep, we're, we're too late. Ending. Yep, here we go. So we're literally just crossing Shibuya Crossing over and over again until people actually get here so we can go to dinner. <laughs> but it's a cool experience. We, have, a cool we, experience. we have had an amazing day. This has been good. the no. most spontaneous, yeah, fun day fun. ever. I'll show you guys what's in this bag once we get back to the Airbnb, but very cool. <laughs> yeah, it's been so long since we've been here. So we've arrived to the restaurant with the top ranked guys. I'm so excited to be back here. It's been since 2019 since the last time we've eaten here with all the top ranked guys. And if you guys have watched the Japan videos from back then, you'll remember me and Tiana sitting and seeing the, the view of Shibuya Crossing. It's it's awesome. I'm very excited to be back. And some of the best yakiniku are the best food, honestly, I've ever had in my whole life. Wow. And this is why this place is so amazing. The reason why it's so cool coming with Top Rank is because we have the private room overlooking Shibuya Crossing. The yeah. best meat and then I would ever. Cost of tires, etc. Grant, look what we missed all night. For some great meat. For we, can't, some... we can't complain. Oh no, here we go. We knew this was gonna happen. We can't complain. Guys, I- We, I, we got some experiences for five minutes. Yes, guys, we uh, we rushed from dinner to get here to try and make it for the Daikoku meet tonight because it is absolutely sick. It's uh, 11.19 and they're shutting the place down now. 
We unfortunately missed the meat. Quickly, hey, Grant, quickly, let's, there's there's so much going on right now. Let me give you guys a little look at some of the cars that are here. Amazing, let me tell my friend goodbye. Do you stay? Yeah. Bye bye. Yes, yes, bye bye. When do you go back to America? Uh, uh, get to Yobi. It's, oh, very fast. So, so, so. Oh, uh, no more. Uh, ours meeting? No. 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 So this. Uh, I'll see you in January. Okay. Okay. In Tokyo on Saturday. Hi. Okay. Okay, bye okay. bye. bye, -bye. God. You want to walk around too? Yes, please. Man, the quality of cars here right now, unreal. 10 out of 10. Unreal. They're saying because it's Halloween weekend, that's why everybody's out tonight. They brought all of their cars out. This is, dude, everything here is good. And it's the biggest variety of cars I've ever seen at a car show in my life. Yeah, so this is I'm not going to call it a car show, but a car It meet. is a car show. Look at this. RS is Ah, oh, I wish we had more time. This this trip was so short that we didn't even have any time to kind of do night meets or night runs or anything like that. Wow. Wow, this thing is beautiful. Dude, the, whoa, look at this. Oh my God, that is crazy. Wow. Sick hood. T37, something pretty unique. White tint in the back. This thing is awesome. Definitely a car that I'd like to own at some point. Absolutely beautiful Evo. I love the yellow carbon. Wow. So good, guys. We gotta head back home now. They're shutting us down.